Uh, that was horrible. I don't think I'd ever go there again. Wow, well, you wouldn't, you wouldn't imagine all this, see you, from coming there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very good they are. No, this is how it should taste a tomato. Comparison. No comparison. My mum and her boyfriend Paul flew from England for a first time holiday in Bulgaria. Here was their reaction to it. First up, Bulgarian breakfast. And you got to sip it? Yeah. It's, it's a normal drink. drink. It's a normal drink. We drink it from the bottle with the bandits in the morning. What's that? This right? is bandits first and taste, and then the second taste is fine. No, it's all right. First taste. There you go. Really? Mm, it's all right. Yeah. I was a banneter. The banneter's gorgeous. Lovely. Homemade. Certainly mm. is. It's called Boza. What's it remind you of? I'm just, it does remind me of something. It reminds me of a smoothie. Boza. No, no. Do you want me to tell you? Cough mixture. No. no. It's liquid with Weetabix. Yeah. <laughs> I knew it was like hops. Or, you this, know, like oh, hop, hops. It's made from wheat. No. Oh, right. It's made from wheat, but this is what it reminds oh, me right, of, yeah? Right. Oh, liquid, yes. liquid yes. Wheat, Wheatabix. Oh, it is, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can't yeah. Actually, yeah. It's yeah. Wheatabix, as soon as you've yeah. said it, because I kept thinking, <laughs> what is it, it reminds me of something. I don't have idea what's going on. It's that aftertaste, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Ariane is nothing unusual. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect this. I don't know if you react <laughs> like that. It's like milk, doesn't it? Yeah, taste it. <laughs> Why do you do that? I don't know. You know what it says like? Because, because of sour milk. Like no, you know it's, what it's like? It's like watery yogurt. It's yeah. exactly watery, watery, watery yogurt. Salt, watery with yogurt. salt, yeah. And salt. In the summer, if you go yeah. in Turkey, this is what it's everywhere, you know? They it's drink. always that initial taste at first. Do you know what it looks like as well? Looking yes. at it, it looks like that juice you get on top of the cheese, you know, yeah. when you open your yeah. on, a yogurt, on a yogurt, when you Curd, open it, it's all on the top. Yeah. Oh, that's what it is, isn't it? Yeah. Second time, Second time is different, bad. Think it? about yeah. it, it is like watery cheese. Yeah, exactly, that's what is I mean, yogurt? that sort of... Yogurt yeah. with water and salt, and this is very is healthy. This, is that what you made? Yeah. You made this? Uh, no, I, I bought oh, it you now, bought this. but, but uh, you, this is what is... It's like uh, whey, not one. like curd. Right. Curd is the bit that sticks in the bottom. Yeah. This is the way because it comes away from that's the... Right, yeah. That's right. what I'm saying, it's like the film the you get on the, the top, liquid isn't it? stuff yeah. at the top, yeah. Yes, I can drink litres of this one. Next, Varna Beach. Well, for me, you only walk about 10 minutes away from the apartment and you've got this. And it's lovely, it's gorgeous. Where we are in England, you have to drive an hour or two hours uh, to come to a beach that isn't as nice as this, the sand isn't as good, the sea, the colour of the sea, you know, it's it's fabulous. What do you think? Definitely come again. Love it. The beach is lovely. And um, what's not to like? I've had the local beer, but definitely, yeah. I'm out for trying anything and uh, I can't say I've disliked it. Atmosphere, definitely. This is what I like, as I've said before, to chill, to listen to music and to watch the world go by. Lovely place, relaxing. Definitely. Yeah, it's lovely. Gorgeous. After Carmen Brack. So this this is Carmen Brack. Wow. Good. Well, you wouldn't what you wouldn't this? imagine all this here from coming there. Is that? Oh, you don't know what that is, it? No. It's a part of a building. Yeah, it's an archaeological site. <sighs> Daddy, can we go down to the beach? What are them yeah. dolphins? Oh, yeah. The dolphins. Wow. Wow. Can you see the wave, the jumping? Yeah, but there and you down can here, see look, them. Down here, quick. There, behind you, Daddy. Watch. Put your feet on there. Put your feet on there. Yeah. Can you see it? There. Oh look! Oh yeah! Okay. Yeah! Now the following. Hunting for treasure. Stay in the night in the caves. Hunting for treasure. Sorry? Stone. Stone. You, you can't camp stones. in the caves. Not allowed to camp in the caves. <laughs> no camping. No, what's a shame. <laughs> you see them better here because there's no way down there. Go down that path. We go around. 
I can't believe that there's dolphins there. You usually have to go on a boat. That's right, you need to further out into the sea yeah. to see them, don't you? Yeah. Well, there'll be caves. I have to go up or to go down? Up and down. <laughs> yeah, going down is That's easy. That's because it's easier, isn't it? It's nice that you get a little bit of... Uh, Shade. <laughs> yeah. It's holding that. Yeah. Paul? Hmm? What is Stravetti? Uh, Stravetti. He's um hello. I just see you. Stunning, isn't it? This will probably tell you more about it as well. But you definitely need to bring water because I'd stay here longer if <laughs> yeah. we hadn't left the water in the car. So you definitely need to bring water. You definitely need to bring a picnic or food and a blanket. Wow. Okay. So we can set up camp. We love camping. Absolutely stunning. Wow. Then I took them to taste some black seashells. That's the one with the sauce. That's that and one. This is. That's the oh, plate. Yeah, no. This is the plate. You smell. Oh, look. Yeah, that's it's all good. garlic on those. Yeah, lovely. Mmm. Yeah. 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 So we have the plates. These are the ones in the sauce. Maybe. Here's your chilli sauce. Mmm. Good? Mmm. Here we go. Is this your very Keep in mind. Very, very first, first muscle. muscle. Honest. Mm. Honest opinion. Right. Do one. Dip it in the chilli sauce. It tastes different <laughs> again. Yeah, it's nothing. It's not as bad as I thought it would be. But that's better. Ooh. Ooh, that one. <laughs> that's hot. Thank you. That's nice though. That's hot. It is hot. That's good. Isn't it? good. Mm. And these are the plain ones. Yeah. They're actually not as bad as I thought they'd be. They're not as bad as I thought they'd be to say the truth. It's something I've looked at since being a kid, but good. In Bulgaria was my first uh, trial of mussels. Yes. And very good they are. On to Cape Kaliakra. What's over mm. here? <coughs> oh, wow. Stunning. Oh, wow. Look at that. It's worth coming here just for this. Yeah. Wow. I tell you yeah. what, this is probably the the best coast I've seen in all the places I've been. Oh, it's beautiful. It is. Yeah. It's got to be one of the best coasts I've looked at. Gorgeous. Hold hand and then Come out. It's almost Jurassic. Hands Even if not near interested the cliff. in things, you know, like all the other stuff that's Arche here. Archaeological, Archaeological stuff. stuff, yeah, I couldn't get the words out. But um, this, stunning. Postcard that. Look at the sea, how you can see real. You know, if you were in Blackpool now, <laughs> there'd been, there's no comparison. Yeah. No comparison. Well, no, sure there isn't. <laughs> For anybody that's been to Blackpool would understand. <laughs> Blackpool, Southport, it's black, full of rubbish. <laughs> and look at this. Unreal. 
Pretty, isn't it? It's beautiful. You like it? It's gorgeous. Can you do your dancing, Janet? Bulgarian dancing. What do you play Bulgarian? You know how to do the dancing. Like that. Yeah. Is it? All oh, right. <laughs> Is that the, for the fortress here? Yeah. Mm. It's scattered everywhere. Oh. It was labelled in numbers, but we I could took a picture for numbers, but there's no numbers <laughs> anywhere. beautiful walk. Uh, it wasn't as hilly as the last one, you know, where we went to eat the mussels, because yeah. that the hill on that was a big hill. <laughs> it took me about five minutes to get, but that could be because of my sore throat and breathing. Yeah. So, but here it's lovely, nice walk and oh, when you look it over, when we looked over into the sea, and the coastline again. It was it was lovely. And then you went all the way around and then we went, well, you guys went a little bit further up, but I stayed and uh, had a coffee in the restaurant, which was nice. When you when you give when you give your money <laughs> when you give your money, don't go typical like nicey nicey English. Just say don't go and say Thank you, because the way to walk bring your change back, he thinks you're saying thank you. In other words, have no manners and don't say thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you can still have manners, I guess, say thank you when he's giving you the change. <laughs> you can ask Paul how he feels about that. Yeah, he's not so happy, so we won't. We won't. <laughs> no. well, well worthy of a visit, without a shadow of a doubt. Uh, very informative, and if... If you're not interested in the archaeological side of stuff, things like that, which I am, it's well worthy of a visit just for the coastal line views. Next, the taste of a Bulgarian rose tomato. Mm. It's good. Mm. Compared to your tomatoes in England? A lot better, a lot tastier, juicier, bigger. Bigger? Oh, yeah, they are Very bigger. much bigger. Yeah. But yes. <clears throat> A lot tastier. Yeah. Mm. And Lovely. what does it feel like to know that there was no chemicals used to grow it also? 100% bio. Always better. Bio. Oh, Always better. Yeah. Anything anything grown naturally without anything is, is a lot better. Mm. Yeah, definitely. I think yeah. that's due to the taste of it now. Yeah. Mm. For sure. They are juicy, definitely. aren't they? Mm. Very much so. Yeah. Yeah, lovely. And this costs in pounds per kilo one pound ten per kilo wow it's like yeah, one pound one pound twenty per absolutely. three little tomatoes given in the inflation of in the uk at the moment definitely oh gosh value yeah. for money mm. Mm. well they're about that big aren't they huge These tomatoes yep. it says everything mm. one, two of those would make one of our tomatoes yeah after sunny beach oh there were too many people Pushing, shoving, just drove me daft. What did you feel? Yeah, I think it's the same type of thing for me, really. Uh, less, it seemed less cultural because there was just too many people about, too many, not that I've got anything against nationalities, but it was just not for me. It wasn't like even if you were just Bulgarian, they just didn't care about anybody. All they wanted was 
come here, come here, money, 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 get get your money, get the kids on the rides for the money and... Not left for your own choices, always yeah. somebody jumping out trying to drag you in and rather than leaving you to your own devices, reading a menu without being disturbed outside the, sh the restaurants and things like that. Yeah. You were always enticed to come in, which is, is not what I like. I like to make my own choices. Yeah, it was just like you, when you've been to like, when, you know, like Tenerife, when you go on the strip, it's mm. just like that. Too busy. Isn't it? Too busy, just people mithering and- Drunk people. People like you Loud were sat people. down and people, didn't even like pass you, it was like knocking you. Yeah, and ignorance you to made a degree, the comment isn't it? Yeah. of that. Rude, yeah, 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 yeah. I could have been anywhere, either even at Blackpool. At that particular time, yeah. Definitely yeah. could have been in Benadon. Yeah, yeah. Benadon, yeah. Yeah, definitely, definitely. You couldn't tell that it was Bulgaria, it was just like. Like I say, not compared to the other areas we've been mm. in Bulgaria. Mm, definitely. This is how they felt after two weeks back at home. So I think for me, what sticks out when we went to Petia's house at first yeah. and her mum just clipped these grapes off the vine, washed them in, rinsed them in some water and put them on the table and we were just eating them right off the vine and then when we went to uh, uh, garden, yeah. yeah, and then they had all them trees, didn't they? Oh, fruit trees, yeah. apples trees, pear trees, yeah. peaches and nectarine as well. Yeah, right? nectarine, trees, yeah, so. yeah. And then they brought out those big, massive tomatoes. I mean, we have beef tomatoes, but they so, were massive, yeah, weren't the scale, they? Yeah. yeah. Also, uh, my favourite thing would be uh, those cliffs, you know, like the ruins? Yeah. And the cliffs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not sure what it was called. Is it Calacra? Calacra. Calacra or something like that. Uh, that. Excuse the oh. pronunciation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but that, oh, when, when you walked, we got out of the car and we just walked, didn't we? And it was all just like grassy, dry grass and everything. And then we got to the cliff. And when you could just see all the sea and you could see... Coastline's the, gorgeous. Oh, yeah, yeah and the blue Stone. and the greens in the sea yeah. and everything. And then we, we happened to see someone doing camping. Mm -hmm. You know, That's the, where we've seen the dwellings as well, wasn't it? The old yeah, ruins of the yeah. dwellings which were under the grounds and the yeah. steps going down and things. And it was, it was amazing to find out how many people actually lived on those cliff edges many, many years back. But to live in those little hollowed out holes with steps going yeah. into them. Yeah, because you went down, didn't did you, and having yeah. a look and yeah. where people used to live and things like that. Very fascinating. Yeah, yeah. and it was Barna Day, because it was on the mm. same day as Jeanne's birthday, yeah. and they had everything going on, and the park is like, what, five minutes away from Gareth's place, yep. and they had bands on. Huge and, park. And then, fire, and then at the night... We went to and eating all this like street food, didn't we? Mm. And then it was like looking over the sea. And then we saw the fireworks. We thought we weren't going to see the fireworks, so we got one of the best views, didn't we? Eating our street to be fair, food. Nothing, nothing really to not like. No. To a degree. No. Yeah. Well, I think the but least the thing. thing yeah. yeah, the least thing for me, uh, personally, would be sunny beach. Not that it's not nice. But I think it's more it's, for it's more younger people. It's family people, orientated, also younger people, isn't it? But yeah. it's from, from every nationality as well, though, isn't yeah. it? It's everybody yeah. and anybody. And it's typically like going to Spain and people standing outside bars trying to drag you in to get meal, yeah. have meals and drinks and things yeah. like that, which I don't like to be bothered with. Well, the other places we visited were more quiet, quiet yeah. and you, you just did your thing and no one's enticing you or bothering you. Yeah. Well, yeah, that was the only thing. Like, I think we could say Sunny Beach, couldn't we? Really? Yeah, that, I think that's the only thing. I think it was an eye-opener because of what we've seen before. And, yeah. and going there was like, oof. Yeah. yeah, and I think, uh, I mean, we were quite lucky. I mean, if I recommend anything, I'd rec definitely recommend to go to Bulgaria. But I'd watch A Taste of Bulgaria on YouTube. Yeah, definitely. Definitely, because very, Gareth, very he has some really good... I mean, we were lucky to have him, with him being my son, taking us and driving us around everywhere. Mm. But obviously, everyone haven't, hasn't got that. You've got to so, a long time and travel for a long time yeah. to see all the places that we've seen. It's just yeah. really fortunate to have Gareth to do it for us. Yeah, went to a mussel farm and ate mussels yeah, straight out, out of the water. And 
I mean, the foods for me, the foods were so good. Mm. You know, value, I'd say value so. for money as well. Yeah, Very much yeah. So. We found it was a lot, lot cheaper than anywhere. Oh, cheaper even size, cheaper than it? Spain now, yeah. isn't it? Oh, well, you, you, um, your pound doubles, doesn't it? Yeah, on the TV a bit more. If yeah. If you're coming from the UK, that is. Yeah. And I think even though things are arising across the world, I think Bulgaria is still cheaper. And, like you say, they have some oh beautiful mm. foods and things like definitely. that, don't they? Yeah. So, yeah, I'd definitely recommend going on uh, YouTube on A Taste of Bulgaria because you can pick up some great ideas and there's some fantastic it videos. It's very informative if you're going to yeah. go there. It's something to look at to understand what, what there is about you because you may never see it unless you actually see it on something like Taste of Bulgaria. Yeah. You know it's there. Yeah. You might travel to it, yeah.